How do you use a scale factor to find the area of a scale drawing? For example, how would you generate the scaled area when a figure is enlarged by a scale factor of 4? In this lesson, you will learn to generate the scaled area of a rectangle by using the scale factor. Let's review. A scale factor is a number by which all the dimensions of an original figure are multiplied to produce the dimensions of the new figure. In this example, we multiply width and length times the scale factor of 2 to equal scaled width and length of 2 and 4 centimeters. Notice the units of measure are the same. Also notice how the area has changed. To find the area of a rectangle, multiply the length times the width. Now let's take a closer look at the area of a scale drawing of a rectangle. The original drawing has dimensions of 1 unit by 1 unit for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of 2, the scale drawing has dimensions of 2 and 4 units. As you can see, multiplying the original area by the scale factor does not generate the scaled area. You can see the scaled area in this rectangle is 8 square units by counting the units in the scale drawing. Now let's generate a scale drawing with a scale factor of 3. The original drawing has the dimensions of 1 unit by 2 units for length and width. When we multiply by a scale factor of 3, the scale drawing has dimensions of 3 by 6 units. You can see by the units in the scale drawing that the scaled area is 18 square units. If we continue on with this pattern, increasing the scale factor by 1 each time and generating the scaled area by the scaled length and width, we can organize this data in a table to look for patterns. Notice how the scale area increases by a much larger amount each time when the scale factor increases by 1 each time. Can you see the scaled area is not the original area multiplied times the scale factor? For example, the original area of the rectangle is 2 and none of the scaled areas equal the original area 2 multiplied times the scale factor used on each rectangle. Let's take a minute to analyze what we have. We know that the original area equals length times width. If we write out the, equa the equation, maybe we can see why the scale factor alone will not produce the scaled area. We also know that we can generate the scaled area by finding the scaled lengths. Scaled length equals length times scale factor multiplied times width times scale factor. Notice in the equation for the scaled area using the dimensions that the scale factor is used twice. This is a clue. Using the commutative property of multiplication, we can rewrite this equation changing the order to, to group the like terms. So now we have scaled area equals length times width, times scale factor, times scale factor. And we can rewrite that as length times width times scale factor squared because there are two of the same factor. Notice the first part of this equation is the formula for the original area. We can take that multiplied times the scale factor squared and from this we can conclude that we can take the area of the original figure and multiply it times the scale factor squared. Scaled area equals length times width times scale factor squared. What is the scaled area of the 1 by 2 rectangle with a scale factor of 8? This time we are going to try our new formula using the scale factor to generate the scaled area. Multiply the original area times the scale factor squared. So the original dimensions are 1 by 2, so 1 times 2 equals 2, times 8 squared, or 2 times 64 equals 128 square units. Now let's compare our method of generating the scaled area from the scaled dimensions. With is 1 times scale factor 8 equals 8, and length is 2 times scale factor 8 equals 16. 
8 times 16 equals 128 square units, which equals the scaled area we found with our first method, and so we are correct. Remember the scaled area is increased by the square of the scaled factors because the scaled length and width have both been increased by this scale factor. Multiply the original area times the scale factor squared. A common misunderstanding is thinking the scaled area is generated by multiplying the original area by the scale factor alone. This is incorrect. The original area must be multiplied by the square of the scale factor because the scale factor has increased the length and width of the scaled figure. Remember to use the square of the scale factor when generating scaled area and it will be two thumbs up for the square of the scale factor. In this lesson you have learned to generate the scaled area of a figure by using the scale factor.